I didn't need to drink that energy drink because I already know this anime is already gonna be a banger and it's already gonna wake me up. But you know, just to be sure. What's up you guys, your boy Perverted Senpai here and today we're going to be reacting to Call of the Night Episode 8. Now they left us with a goddamn cliffhanger that I was so mad but like ah it's just this anime is just so freaking good. Like the way that their dialogues go without like trying to like demonstrate us all the time but just putting it into words is just you know very awesome to see in my eyes. But at the very end it looked like they knew something that our main character Code does not and we, as the people that just watch the anime and not the manga, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't know what he said in a way that made them like just stay quiet. Even Nazuna was quiet as well. Like, what did she forget to tell him? And hopefully they, you know, explain it in the very beginning of the episode because if they don't say anything, I'm just gonna be like freaking out. With that said, if you guys do happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode, why not hit the like button? It helps me push this type of content line up to other people that may like the same stuff as you guys do. And also, if you guys been seeing more of my content lately and actually been enjoying it more than you usually have been and want to see some more in the future, why not hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. With that said, that's pretty much all I gotta talk about. Let's hop on to today's episode. Oh uh, yeah, he did say that his blood was tasty. Wouldn't that cause the other vampire vampires to try to, you know, eat him too? I like how Cole really brings up really good strong points when he meets these people that are trying to like convert the situation of their own matters in their own way. Okay, it looks like they're gonna back off. I don't, I don't think they ever mentioned that in the last episode, but it looks like right now they're like making sure that we know that they're not gonna try to kidnap and kill him. <laughs> See that that's the part where I got fucked up because look at their faces, they're like shocked too. Like, what did he say? Did, was there something? Alright, let's see what happens. For one year. Oh, they have a one year limit of becoming a vampire? Wow, wow, what a what a twist uh, that is. That's interesting. It would have been more fatal if he died within a year, but just become not be able to become a vampire within a year, that's still something crazy. <laughs> I can't believe Nazuna forgot about that. But then again, I feel like that's a characteristic that Nazuna is like that. Oh, there's one more thing that she forgot to mention. Oh. Hey! <laughs> he got the reward. Okay, what a good way to start today's episode. Oh. What the fuck was that? What was that? Oh, okay, they just went flying. Okay. I thought someone shot. Because getting a piggyback ride from Nazuna. <laughs> that's awesome, bro. Hey, it looks like Ko is like having that realization like he could have been killed just that night. <laughs> God, man, I, I would not talk to the person that would always skip openings like this. Like, straight up, I would not talk to that person. Oh, hey, he's telling Akira about it. Nice. So, wait, wait a minute. Is she going to try to, like, stop him from becoming a vampire? No, I think she was going to support it, right? Oh shit, oh no, she's right. They could just legit off him within a year, after a year, I mean. But then he has to become a vampire. He has to become a vampire within this year. <laughs> oh man, I love Akira, man. She's just plain and simple and gets to the point, my guy. Hey, it's daytime. Whoa! Oh, what the f- Yo, that scared me! Oh my god! Hey, look, it's a guy- Hey, wait! New character! New character. Hey, who the fuck is this guy? Hey, is he, is he trying to hit on Akira? Nah, sir. No, no, you can't. It's, uh, that's Cole's girl, bro. Hey, okay, he was having fun last night. Nice. It's <laughs> going out a night is a trend. <laughs> wait. And only make time in the night. Wait. Don't tell me. Is that Ko? Is he interested in Ko? That'd be interesting if that's what it is, but who knows? We'll see who he's interested in. <laughs> oh, so he's the only guy that saw them as friends. <laughs> okay, it looks like Cole actually has more people that he relied on in the past than I thought. Okay. Oh, hey, flashback. Let's go. Okay, he seems like the guy that would try to, you know, get Cole to do things. Uh... 
What the fuck? Uh, yo, why you just show up out of nowhere like nothing's happened? <laughs> oh, dude, this guy, he knows he knows he has to run away, man. She's some crazy lady. Oh, yeah, I forgot she wasn't there when they were like all talking about drinking his blood, right? Dude, this one year limit is actually pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. It actually has a very intense situation for our character Ko to actually now have to literally speed run this. How do I fall in love? I feel like Ko, I don't think he could do this by himself. Like, understand these things that he has to do in order to fall in love with Nazana. Oh no. Why, why did he have to talk to the gal, bro? Never talk to the gal about these things. I'm gonna take your virginity, bro. Look at her. Look at her. She is a hot mess, my guy. Let's go on a date. Don't want... What? Wow, so you give him two kisses, but don't want to go on a date. Huh. Lewd. <laughs> Yo, okay, okay. Actually, I feel her, bro. Going playing video games? Mm, fuck the date. Let's play some video games, bro. Hey. <laughs> Yo, Ko, you can't do that. You can't turn off the game. Damn, man. Ko, he really insists on going on a date with Nasuna tonight. Huh. Dude, going to the movie theaters with no one around you actually hits some good vibes, not gonna lie. Uh, I guess she doesn't like love movies. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, she wrote the plan for him to for the date. Dude, I feel like he shouldn't all the vice for other people, but he should like, you know, experience in his own way of how to deal with love but then again there's ways to get support on you know learning about love yo i feel like she's trying to sabotage this yeah you know what now i think the gal is trying to sabotage their you know relationship damn bro yeah you can't take her to a basic romantic date you gotta take her on a wild one a wild one bro <laughs> uh yeah it does yeah, fucking kills you in the night. Dude, okay. Obvious thing is that a date, she could consider what the person likes. And what Nazana likes is video games, sucking blood, and having a good time. Wait, uh, is that tissue? If it is. Hmm? Someone out the window? Oh, hey, it's Nazana. Okay, okay. Mad respect for Nazana. She's willing to, you know, make up for the things that she was not interested. Okay, now this, now this is what I call a date, man. I mean, of course, no one can fucking fly, but <laughs> for this anime, this is the kind of type of date that I'm like looking forward to. Mm. Dude, this anime, dude, hits all the vibes, man. I'm telling you, dude. I think this is one of the most amazing vibe animes that I've like watched in like a long time. I've seen. What the fuck? Sucking his blood. Eh? That's a long suck. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wait, did he? Hey, we oh, it's our three main drunk adults. Yeah, let's go. Having a good time, bro. After, you know, suffering from their jobs. Oh, wait. Hey, wait, isn't that one of Cole considered to be friends type of deal? Oh, damn. Don't tell me Cole doesn't. Oh, ah, shit. Sorry, too late. You already discovered him. I can see how Ko kind of feels awkward in this situation. Like, you no, know, it's been so long since he talked to him. I like how Ko is like trying to process this as like friends. You know, trying to remember when have I become friends? Because for me, I always had a hard time remembering like, when did we come become friends? You know, it just sort of happened, you know? Hey, wait, his family runs a family shop? Wait, a family shop? <laughs> what did I just say? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. What just happened? I'm happy I get to see you for the first time and <laughs> you know too corny for me. <laughs> Way out of whack. <laughs> Man, talk about the person that like, has a different sleep order. <laughs> oh wait, Arka, Arka, you you're making it a more misunderstanding. It's not just a random girl, it's a vampire. Mm, looks like Cole isn't telling him the whole thing. I mean it makes sense. He wants to protect him from, you know, getting killed by the other vampires. Ooh, I feel like I think I know who is me who he's meeting with. I feel like he's meeting up with the gal. I have a feeling that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Wait, is that what you took from this whole thing? Ah, okay, I see now. Like to him, Cole sees him as like a really huge role model. Mm, Nazana just vibing it off. <gasps> Hey, wait, that's a character. Hey, that's him. Well, what's going on? Is she a vampire too? Yo, wait, what is this? I, I'm kind of confused on why she was like glaring at them. 
Oh, shit. Okay, they're in the first base holding hands. Not bad. Oh, wait. Oh, she's just holding his hand because he just, like, wanders around. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I see. I see what's going on. So she saw that those two couples, aka, you know, one of Ko's friends holding hands with a girl. And I guess she wanted to imitate that with Ko. Because she thought, like, it looked very fun to do ah oh, damn that's actually pretty cool to think about <laughs> time to review today's episode so first i want to talk about the new character mahiru so it looks like mahiru is actually a childhood friend from our main character ko and mahiru he's like a lot different compared to ko like because of ko he sees mahiru as a role model and by that it means that he like really talks to people the teachers see him as a good student even though he kind of like you know fools around and it looks like mahiru has these like traits that ko isn't like envious but like sees it in like a very high standard priority thing that ko wants to have just like mahiru and to Mahiru, he's able to tell or find Ko in a different way as Ko finds him. Because Ko, he's able to spot Mahiru because he stands out the most out of the crowd. Because he's always like talkative and, you know, has that alignment of surrounding people that's willing to, you know, listen to him. And to Mahiru, he's able to spot Ko from afar because he could tell that, like, well, pretty much Ko, like, you know, lonely at times. But he's able to spot him a lot faster then he would spot someone that's like, you know, popular or something like that. I'm also kind of worried because when the last time we see Mahiro, he's with a girl that's like holding hands and Nazuna is the one that's like seeing that, but I don't know if she knows any of like who they are. With that said, I feel like the reason why Nazuna was staring at them was because they were holding hands and that kind of like made Nazuna think like, man, if I can't find like, you know, Ko and he's just like wandering around, I should just hold his hand and it looks kind of fun so maybe i should just do that to ko so to me nazana whenever she does something there has to be a reason why she does it and let's talk about ko ko our main character the person that has that identity crisis you know so far throughout this whole episode ko is still trying to like understand this thing called the love and also with the now that he's being pressured by finding it within a year because that was the one thing that Nazuna totally forgot and I mean that's just like a Nazuna thing to do honestly and so within a year he has to fall in love with Nazuna and that's gonna be a bit hard on him because so far with the progression that we're seeing of Ko it is gonna take a while now we do see him like actually interested in her because he sees her in a lustful way but not like in a romantic way yet if he saw her in a romantic way he would have already loved her and would have already turned into a vampire and also our gal siri the vampire girl it looks like she's interested on seeing the relationship of ko and nazana and with that i mean she's gonna be using him as entertainment food because how siri has some type of rivalry with nazana i think she's gonna be messing with ko and nazana's relationship but not in a bad way but in like a pranky way you know what i mean but when she like gave an advice to ko it was more to annoy nazana because she knows nazana hates that type of stuff and you know our boy ko he's as clueless as ever and he tries to you know try to make things right but sometimes he ends up not doing it but that said nazana realizes that ko is just trying to do his best and so she comes and tries to redo the dating thing now with that said of course the game is has more priorities than dating that's in my eyes but seeing nazana like having her own way of like dating with ko like instead of like doing the usual thing like a normal human would do of course, Nazana would always add a twist of having that more excitement in their way of dates. With that said, if you guys do happen to enjoy my reaction and my review on today's episode, why not drop a like and hopefully push this type of content mine up to other people that may like the same stuff as you guys do. And also, if you guys have been seeing more of my content lately and actually been enjoying it more than you usually have been and want to see some more in the future, why not hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. With that said, it's been your boy Perverted Senpai and I'll see you guys in the next episode.